Next experiment is encoder. So encoder is a circuit used to produce a unique code for the given input. For example, if I have Y1, Y2, Y3 are the input and Y0 is the enable pin. So enable pin is Y0 and Y1, Y2, Y3 are, out, are inputs and depends upon the which input is selected, you will be getting a corresponding unique code at the output side. So this is the simple uh, 4 is to 2 encoder. So we know that uh, encoder is 2 power n is to n input and uh, n output. So we have uh, capital N equal to 2. So totally we have 4 inputs and 2 outputs. I have y0, y1, y2, y3 and a, b are the output. And instead of a, b, I have connected uh, 2 LEDs over here. You can see in the blood. And 3 wires which I have given. 2 green and 1 red or y1, y2 and y3 and for example if I select y1 is equal to 1 or if I enable y1 equal to 1 then I should get uh, one LED is 0 I mean uh, one LED is off another LED will be switch on so let us check one example uh, y0 equal to 1 and y2, y3 will be 0 to connect y0 equal to 1 we have to take the y0 wire uh, we have to apply that into the VCC so this connection is VCC your uh, upper end and the bottom end I have connected the ground pin. So let us take Y1 to the VCC line and the remaining two pins I have to apply into the ground pin. Right. So when you apply two, when you apply two input to the ground which means 0, 0 and I enable only one input to the VCC line. Which means your input now is y1 equal to 1, y1 equal to 1, y2, y3 or y1 equal to 1, y2, y3 or 0, 0. So corresponding 1, 0, 0, I should produce a code 0, 1. So now you can see this LED is doesn't glow, which means it shows that it is 0, and this LED is glowing, uh, this is actually 1. So we'll receive 0, 1 unique code for this corresponding number. So likewise, we can uh, check for all the inputs and you can extend this 2 power n is to n equal to, for example, 8 is to uh, 3. Likewise, you can extend the encoder and you can produce such a unique code for the given input. Which means, at what time your uh, input is enabled, so that particular time you will get particular unit. For example, in this uh, circuit, y2 is enabled at this time. So for this corresponding 0, 1, 1, you will receive 1, 0 in the circuit. So likewise, you can check all the input combination uh, for 2 power n is to n encoder in the laboratory uh, by using this breadboard, gate and the LEDs. Thank you. Next experiment, decoder. So as I said, your decoder is just reverse process of your encoder. Whereas in the encoder, we have seen 2 power n input and n output. But in decoder, there are n inputs and 2 power n outputs. So here we have 2 power n outputs, which means 4 outputs have given as a 4 LEDs. For example, Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. There are 4 outputs and I have 2 input lines, this green and this red. Right? So corresponding, the in corresponding input, I have to receive a 4 bit output code in the decoder. Whereas in the encoder, we have encoded the given input, 4-bit input to 2-bit uh, output line and that 2-bit output line, now we are going to convert as a original input. Let us take one example. So this is your truth table of decoder where if 0, 0, I should receive 1, triple zeros and likewise 0, 1, I have to receive 0, 1, 0, 0 and for 1, 0, I have to receive 0, 0, 1, 0 and for 1, 1, I have to receive 0, 0, 1. Since this is Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, for 1, 1 connection, I have to have this LED must be blown. Now let us check this 1, 1 connection to make this LED blown. So these two are input line. Now I am connecting that to the VCC from the power supply. So connecting green and red two input lines 
and you can see that why not y1 y2 y3 led is now glowing which means i am receiving the code 0001 for 11 input line so likewise you can do for uh, all other input line in the laboratory by using this breadboard and for this you are using two ic one is not gate another one is and gate you can see in the diagram we use two not gate and the four and gate so in the single ic i have four and gate and similarly in this single ic i have number of uh, and i mean not gates so by using one uh, not ic and uh, one and ic i can uh, design a decoder cycle as this and there is a loose connection i think So like this you can check uh, remaining outputs in the laboratory. Thank you.